Hello, today we're taking a look at Not The Robots. This is a really fun um, roguelike stealth game where we are a robot who goes around eating furniture and trying to hide from sentry bots and things like that. So we're just going to dive right in. You're going to see how amazing it is. Suddenly you are somewhere in a hostile maze. So the entire idea of this game is that there's this furniture all over the place. And our goal, we enter right here. That's us, the uh, little guy running around there. Look at me go! Our goal is to eat a ton of this um, furniture. So I'm just going to run around eating it. We have a food bar at the bottom right. And our goal is to get as much of this food as possible all of it if we can whoop, and then get out of the um, then get out of the level the way we came uh, as we progress through the game the levels get more difficult there's more things that we have to do there's more things that are trying to kill us and yes it's amazing Outside of knowledge, you'll need a secret code to do the 12th operation. I don't know what that means. Let's look at this here. Um, in the first building, the game is divided into buildings, each of which have two floors. In the first building, you won't have any sentry bots, but as soon as we finish this level, we're going to see some very dangerous sentry bots showing up. I hate them. I hate them with this, like, burning passion. This really, one might call it unhealthy passion, is that that's that's pretty much my hatred for these uh, terrible sentry robots. They have machine guns, man. Machine guns. Oh, I have two inventory slots. So, as I might note, in addition to our normal abilities, that being that we can roll around and we can crouch to hide ourselves. We also have uh, items in the upper left that we pick up. Satisfied with your meal, you roll to the east. Let's get it rolling to building two. Here we're going to have some fun, won't we? Yes. The game really hits off when we start getting sentries. That little... Uh, spherical robot over there that is a sentry bot those guys are just vicious got to hate them they are absolutely terrible so we're going to be very careful when dealing with these guys if they see us uh, the sentry bots will start trying to kill us with machine guns which if you've ever tried to be killed with a machine gun before, you'll know that's not the most fun thing in the world. So all we have to do is get in and get out. Eat everything. Take cover. Repeat. And evade him. Hello, sentry robot. How are you? Pay no mind to the voice speaking to you from behind this water cooler. There is nothing here. Beep. These are death panels, just by the way. In case you're wondering. Absolute death panels. Book it! He sees us! Ah! Yeah. Beep. Max food. So, um, like most roguelikes, this has um, progression between the playthroughs. You get experience for how far you've gotten. Uh, if you get max food, or if you take no damage on levels, you get extra bonuses. So, incentivizes you. It's nice. Let's go. This time we have two sentries. What are we going to do against two sentries? 
Nothing. You know what we're going to do? We're going to die. Die a sad and pathetic death. So this game is really interesting in that um, the goal of the game, which is to eat all of this uh, furniture, the farther you progress in a level, the harder the level gets. Because this furniture is not only what you need to eat to survive, but it, to, uh, not to survive. I'm a little robot, I don't need to eat anything to survive. But um, it's not only what you need to eat to complete the level, it's also the cover from these terrible sentry bots. So it's harder to hide from them the farther you go and the more you eat. Look! Ah, what was that? Oh, there's a laser over there. Cross. Hello. Hello, sentry bot. I'm just going to go over here and eat all of this stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. You do not see me! See, if you... It's a proven fact that if you just yell at them and tell them that they can't see you, they won't see you. It's a thing. Just hide behind the computer monitor. Perfect. So, the game does have a pseudo-plot to it, which is revealed by eating these laptops. Well... Robert he dislikes his job? Oh no, he disrespects people. Um, did you just say he backhands? Management? Ooh. Trixie maneuver. Nope. Ow. We're done. It's over. Go, 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 Ah, so yeah. You get little tidbits about the world, the lore of the world through those uh, laptops. It's amazing. It's cool. Completely optional. Doesn't really matter. I've only gotten, like, three of them so far, so I don't really know too much. But then again, does anyone really know anything? Yes. So, um, as I said, the game gets harder. There's more that you have to do as you go through. And at this point in the game, our objectives expand. No lasers! Ah, I'm alive. Um... We not only have to eat a ton of furniture, we also have to hit the sequencers. You can see the things with the numbers up above them. Those are panels that we have to um, uh, roll over in order in order to uh, complete the level. It's going to be amazing, isn't it? We're just going to wait out this laser. You're going to proceed this way. Because that other direction holds nothing but death for us. And death is not the ideal situation here. I'm just going to eat everything as I head over here. It's going to be brilliant. We're going to be so full by the end of this. We're going to be obese. Terribly, morbidly obese robots. No one ever thought that they would see a morbidly obese robot. But it's happened. They're like, but robots, they don't even have to eat. Why? Not even really eating, per se. He might just be cleaning up the office. That could be a thing. Why would he get morbidly obese as he cleans up the office? Who knows? It's crazy. These robots these days, all that they want to do is just sit around and eat furniture. By sit around, I mean run around dodging lasers and sentries. But look, that's not the point. The point is that there's a point to what I'm saying, and I have no clue what it is. But if you want to uh, interpret it for me, that would be brilliant. And then maybe I'd understand what I'm saying, just a little, maybe? It's unlikely, though. Even I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Here we go. Boop. Ah, 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 ow. I just got hurt quite a bit. Quite a bit, 
No, I got like two health down. Just two health. Nobody cries over two health. Definitely not this robot. Man, uh, the levels without sentries, I'll admit, out, aren't the hardest, nor are they the most interesting, but they're nice respite after being uh, shot to death by multiple sentries at the same time. It's very nice. It's much better than having to go right back into sentries. Because, you know, nobody likes sentries. Sentries, those stinking guys with machine guns popping out of their heads, running around being all like, we're so cool, we're going to shoot you to death. And you're like, but I want to live. And the sentry's like, eh, well, we didn't really ask you about this. Mm, no, that wasn't actually part of the deal. Oh. Yeah. So they don't really care. They just shoot you and then... Then they go out for coffee, and they talk to their co-workers, there's some gossip going on. It's crazy, the gossip in the uh, Sentry, like, workplace, it's, ooh, vicious. Vicious and crazy. Whoop. They're always talking about each other, being like, Hey, did you see Debbie last week? She was, like, running around and shooting this robot, but, but she wasn't going fast enough. And the other guy's like, oh, 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 mm, well, she wasn't moving fast enough, was she? Mm, that is unacceptable. I cannot believe that she would do such a thing. Mm. And everyone is just generally unhappy about the situation. Debbie is ostracized, and then all of a sudden she's dismantled because she's inadequate, and the, the dreaded efficiency of the robots is just terrible. Ugh, it all goes downhill. Look, all of this to say, don't gossip in the workplace. It ends horribly. Wow. Don't know. Ooh. Hello, sentries. I'm gonna get, eat everything that I could possibly use as cover. Oh. Woo! Then I'm gonna hide behind this bookshelf and pretend that I'm safe. While I go into the fetal position and cry myself to sleep. No, no, our job is far too important for us to go into fetal position and cry ourselves to sleep. I think, maybe? Woo! Uh oh. You don't have to come down here. Oh, did you see me? Is that a thing that happened? Well, would you believe me if I said that you didn't see me? And I don't exist, I'm actually invisible. Oh lord. That was... He's got blinkers on! He's got blinkers! Ah, oh, no. Can't see things in his peripherals. Perhaps they shouldn't have made the uh, robot's eyes goggles. That does hurt peripheral vision just a little. A wee bit, really. Got the sequence, says. We've succeeded in at mission A. Mission B shall be... Ah! We're surrounded! Ah! Ah, 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 ah. Go invisible! Yes, as I said, we have items. Or the item that we have is invisibility and sprint, and I've decided to go invisible because I'm... I panicked. I admit it. I panicked in the face of death. I can't move when I'm invisible. But I can turn visible again and hide in here. Oh, nope. No go. There's a lot of them, aren't there? Quite a lot of them indeed. We're gonna hide in here. Okay. Hello, sentries. You wanna you wanna like go go over there? There's, ah! There's like empty space all up in that office area over there. If you guys just wanna like I don't know, go chill out, eat some donuts, get some coffee, because you're robots. Wouldn't that be amazing? 
Uh, somebody saw me. But you can't get in here, can you? Because there's a desk in your way. You can't move a desk, can you? Can you move a desk? I don't think that they can move furniture. Don't think that's a thing. Are we just going to have to book it? I don't know about this. We got the sentries. Oh, they're all going in the line over there. We're good. We're fine. Nothing can stop us! We succeed! In the face of all of you fools! Ha 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 yeah, okay, let's let's assess the situation. We appear to have four sentry bots. But it is a large area. We shall be fine. We shall survive, friends. If we don't survive, well, I'm not going to be around to tell you that I didn't survive. Whoop! Yeah, you run. You run, sentry bot. You know what's good for you. Let's go, let's go, let's eat everything. Got sequences to hit, we got food to eat. We can't be stopped by some stinking sentry bots. Who do they even think that they are? Apparently one of them saw me. And didn't really take very kindly to the fact that I'm saying terrible things about them. Let's see. Whoop. <clears throat> take cover back here. Did I just destroy all of my cover? How terrifying. Hello, sentry bot. <laughs> I don't exist, sentry bot. Just ignore me and leave. I'm no threat to you and your kind. I'm not here to kill you. I'm only here to make peace and eat furniture. Mostly the eat furniture part. Admittedly. <laughs> yes. Look at you! Look at you just strolling on down here all the way down. We're gonna have a little... No. Not at all. I will not have you people staring at me like creepy people. You're just trying to stalk me, aren't you? That that's what's going on here. I know I know I know it. Ah. Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do the old Super Sprint So our other item that we have, since apparently we can have two items right now, is a sprint, which is nice. Because we just ran around and ate everything. Isn't it brilliant when we run around and eat everything? It's like what we're meant to do, man. When I think about it, and I think about how I was created, born my great creator, I can't think about anything else but that this was what I was meant to do. It's like I was designed for this one purpose, to eat furniture all the time. I just, I just, it's, it's just what my heart wants to do. It's what I'm yearning to do in, in my, in my day-to-day, -to -day, to day life. So I'm really, I'm really happy that that's what I get to do as, as a job here. It's, it's amazing. There's, there's more sentry bots coming at me. There's no cover in here. Hello, friends. How are you? Guess what? You can't see me. Because I'm hiding behind a small table. Woo! Can't see behind a small table. You're too short to see behind a small table. Run! Okay, we got it. We got all the food. Run for your lives. 
Uh, ow. Uh, you consider how well you're doing, but only for a moment. Is that that we consider it only for a moment, or that we're only doing well for a moment? I would guess the second, the latter of the choices. What's going on here? Tagger. New objective, pick up the tagger. I have no idea what this tagger thing is. Never dealt... Ugh, I can't go behind this one. Oh, that makes me sad. I like hiding behind furniture. It's like what I do. It's like, it's like what I... What I'm, it, it's like my life goal, man. I just feel like I was made for this one single purpose. Nothing else is going to make me happy. But just eating tons of... Tons of stuff. Look at all this stuff I can eat. Woo! We're going to pick up this item. Nope, that was not picking up the item. Quick charge. Your other gadgets recharge faster. I guess that's okay. What? Okay. I'm going to pick up this tagger, but apparently I need to... Okay. I got it. Oh lord. What does this do? What does this do? Oh my goodness. So we specifically have to go into the Maw of Death, otherwise known as Laser Towers, and tag all of the Laser Towers. What are we, some sort of natural philosophers running around tagging everything, being like, hmm, I wonder what this is made of. It appears to be made of meat. That's amazing. It's a sparrow. What did you think it was made of? Of course it's made of meat. You didn't have to dissect it to figure that out. Jeez, guys. Come on now. Stinking natural philosophers. I don't know where this hatred for natural philosophers suddenly came from. But it is now a thing. It's a thing. I hate natural philosophers, because natural philosophers mm, are ridiculous. No, I don't. I'm joking. I just dislike natural philosophers in literature, because they're always pathetic morons. Well, pathetic. The, the moron part was a bit, uh, a bit judgmental, maybe. They tend to be decently intelligent, although complete pansies. Like Victor Frankenstein or Robinson Crusoe. Although Robinson Crusoe, I do consider him to be a pseudo natural philosopher character in that he is very emotional. He he's overcome by emotions quite often. Oh, we got all the taggers. I've been talking about this stuff and I don't even know. What like I was saying, Robinson Crusoe is somewhat overcome by emotions on occasion. But he is also capable, I'd say characters like uh, The Time Traveler from The Time Traveler by H.G. Wells, or uh, Victor Frankenstein, that sort of character. The same exact sort of characters you play in games like Penumbra, or um, One that everybody knows, but I can't remember what it's called. Oh. Ah, ah, ow, that hurt a lot. Ow. Um, amnesia, there we go. Like amnesia, that's totally a natural philosopher character right there. Can't even look at the monster without like swooning and dying. Ow! I need to pay attention to what I'm doing just a little. I'm going to die. I'm going to be dead. It's going to kill me. It's going to be terrible. Well, exactly like that. <laughs> Darn it with the not paying attention and talking about natural philosophers. Curse you, natural philosophers. Curse you. My goodness. Ah, look at this. Holy heathens! You have unlocked a sliding wall trap. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because that sounds like a bad thing, actually. 
Yeah, I don't like that. Sliding wall trap. But yes, uh, that is uh, not the robot. A very fun game. In addition to the campaign, which is just procedurally generated. I think it goes on forever. I don't know. Actually, the farthest I've gotten is uh, what we just did here. There's also operations, which are... Um, these, I think they're preset um, maps and stuff. I don't know about operations. I, I haven't really done one more than once, but uh, they're smaller than a campaign. They're nice. They have an actual set ending. And then there are challenges, which I'm pretty darn sure are, in fact, uh, 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 set maps. Why don't we do one? I mean, you can at least take a look. Why not? Why not take a look? I haven't actually done a challenge yet. Let's see what we have to do. It says lava. The float. Oh. Oh, I see. That's what you mean by the floor is lava. By that you mean we're going to die if we touch the floor. One could have predicted this if one was, in, you know, think out thinking about it. And if one was actually thinking about the game, they wouldn't uh, step on the death pad, death pads. But given the fact that I'm not, my brain is apparently somewhere else. Go, 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 go. I'm missing it. No. <sighs> oh, you're going to make me do it again? Fine, I accept. Is this the same thing? Is it the same layout? Doesn't look like it. I don't think so. Well, we've got our answer right there. Different layouts for uh, challenges. Same idea, though. They must increase the spawn rate of things. How, how quaint. How absolutely quaint that you increase the spawn rate of things that are trying to kill me. Boop. 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 And instead of being ridiculous and running around and getting shot and all that kind of stuff, we actually complete the challenge. It's amazing. Nice. What do you know? Well, we've all learned something here today. I learned that I shouldn't talk about natural philosophers while playing video games because I'm going to die. Uh, you've learned all about Not the Robots if you didn't already know about it. It is a Steam game, by the way. Very nice. I enjoy it quite a bit. It is a very, very fun game. So we've all learned something. Everybody learned stuff. We're all enlightened. It's brilliant. We're all happy. Good. Capiche. Kaput. Yeah. Okay, cool. And with that, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and long talks about Victor Frankenstein and mm, the time traveler, uh, like and subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and enjoy the rest of your day.